pivot tables are sometimes very powerful tools. Some people love them, some hate them, some don't know because they don't really know much about them. Let me show you the basics of pivot tables when it comes to calculations. How can you do multiple calculations in one pivot table? I use a very simple database that anyone can understand. It just has accounts and certain amounts that were billed and then what was paid and then we can later on calculate what is still outstanding. So if you want to do it manually, I will show you that first. If you want to do it with VBA, I will show you that next. With VBA it will go automatically and I will assign to it the Control shift p shortcut. Let me show you first what to do manually. You click inside the table. It will automatically find out that the end of the table is in column E and row 19 because that is empty. So when you insert the pivot table, it will base that on that table. Insert pivot table and by default it creates a new page. And all you have to do there is check in the right part of your screen what are the fields that you want to manipulate. I'm going to put the account, I click and drag it into the rows. And you see that happen here. For the amount I will do something similar and I put it, put it in the values. By default it always gives you the sum. So if you also want the average and the max and the min etc. I would suggest that you change the sum into something else. By just clicking on it. Value field settings. And let's say you want the average. And OK it. Uh, if you also want to regulate the number format, you do that right here. And let's say in this case currency. Okay. And now when we OK that, this becomes the average one. If you also want the sum, just bring the amount in again and it will automatically go to sum. If you want also the max, change this sum into max and add amount again. I'm going to set the field settings again for that sum and number format is currency and that is done. Uh, you can add many more of course, I don't have to explain that to you, but you can also do some simple calculations. Before I do that I want you to realize we are inside this pivot table. If you ever click outside then you lose that panel to the right. All you have to do is click back inside that table. Uh, how can you make sure that you can also add simple calculations? You go to Analyze, Field Items and Sets, a Calculated Field. Those are simple fields. Uh, you cannot do much there. You can divide, multiply, subtract and add, etc. Um, call the field whatever you want. I'm, I'm just going to say Balance. And the balance has a formula. I delete that zero. You want the amount minus the paid. So you double click on amount. Minus, I told you you can do simple things. You can multiply, subtract, add and divide. Paid. Click on OK. And there is that sum of balance field. And notice that w what happened in the background, that in the column section you have now the sum of all the values. So this is the manual way. It's, um, it's, uh, it's quite a bit of work. And, and besides, pivot tables do not update, so if you want to keep this situation and later on do a new one, then you have to go through all those steps again. So I would suggest that you go for Visual Basic. Let me show you. Alt F11 takes you to Visual Basic and I put the code in there already by inserting a module which was done already and there is the module and the module has a subroutine in there that I happen to call pivot, pivot creation. I declared these two variables then I set OWS which is of the worksheet type to sheet 6 where, how do I get sheet 6 here in the left section? So that sheet 6 has the information for the pivot table. You also want it to be done on that sheet. 
Then I set O table, which is of the pivot table type, to OWS, that sheet 6, pivot table wizard. Then we set O field, which is of the pivot field type, to O tables, pivot fields, the one with the name account. You have to use the header of that sheet. So when I go back here, make sure that you type that correctly. It's case sensitive besides. Okay. And we say to that field, the orientation should be that should be in the row. Then we do something similar for a new data field. Set O field, we are resetting it from the account one to a new one. We add to O table a new data field, open parentheses, based on O table pivot fields amount, this time. The caption we are going to set to average of amount. The function we use for that one is Excel average, and the number format is completely up to you. Then we do that again, this time for the sum of the amount. So we reset O field, we add a new data field based again on the field amount, the caption sum of amount, the function Excel sum, number format, the same story again. And finally we do a calculated field. We set reset O field to O table calculated fields dot add. We call it do or balance as I did before, and then comma, and then inside double quotes, you type your formula, equals amount minus paid. We put that in the data field section. We change the number format. Let, let's run this one the way it is right now. So this is what we did manually. Now we are going to do it with VBA. Control Shift P. And notice what it did. It, it did it correctly, but it didn't put an average sum of amount and sum of due in three different columns. It put them together, which is probably not what you want. If you want to avoid that, we have to do a little more. And we have to add one more line that I commented out right now. O table data pivot field dot orientation is in the columns. And now it will run the way you would expect it to run, like it did before. So even if I am not on that sheet, it will automatically take me to the sheet pivot data. So I don't have to really click there. I'm just going to do Control Shift P. And now it will automatically give me the three columns for those calculations. So that shows you how you can do calculations in pivot fields. There's much more to pivot tables, of course. Um, I, I just want you to know that uh, if you do this again a month later, you will get another sheet with the situation for that month. So now I have several sheets. In my case, they all have the same information because my original data did not update. As I said, there is much more to pivot tables that I won't go into. This was just on calculations. If you want to know more about it, I, um, I made some tools for you. If you are a scientist, you want to know a lot about how to use Excel in science. And there are two CD-ROMs that help you to, to go through exercises and do things on yourself, and it tests you all the time. Genesispc.com